This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Can we please stop talking about stuff like that? That's not entertaining or useful in any way. A surprising number of people believe human beings were literally made by the hand of God. Be because they were. They reject the idea that our species evolved from apes as irreconcilable with their dogma. Because it's nonsense. <laughs> There's also a slightly less fundamentalist group of, of that drops the religious language, but believes that some greater power must have guided the creation of humanity. This intelligent design theory might seem like pseudoscientific window dressing, dressing aimed at confusing the issue, but personally, I can't dismiss their arguments so easily. Um, look at creation. Look, look at the world. Does it look like someone made it, or does it look like the product of random chance? <laughs> Mainly because I find it very difficult to believe that millions of years of natural selection could have produced someone like my master. A designer with a nasty sense of humor seems far more plausible. Uh, that's one way to look at it. If that human, if that <laughs> human, if that woman happened to dig up a mysterious monolith from the depths of Jupiter, she probably would have taken it back to her kitchen and used it as a cutting board. What sort of evolutionary process could have produced her? My master sat cross-legged on my back as I labored for my daily set of push-ups. Let there be light, she said, and lit her cigarette. Wow. Next, I heard a metallic pop, followed by the hissing release of carbon dioxide. Let there be beer, she muttered, and downed the can in one gulp. I don't think that made the cut in Genesis. You know, there's a lot of guys who say that they don't want to become cogs in the machine. Thing is, though, nobody's irreplaceable. There's always somebody else who can do what you do. Thinking you're special is line walking around wearing a big... <laughs> a big effin' shiny polka dot bow tie. It's obnoxious, for one thing, and it's only gonna cause you grief. No shame in being a cog. Machine doesn't work without him. For the most part, the guys who figure that out are the ones who turn out decent and manage to stay that way. What are decent people like, anyway? You and me, kid. Don't know many others. At the very least, we're a hell of a lot better than the ones pulling the strings. We all need our role in the machine. That's a fact everyone has to face eventually. You can't just crawl into a nice dark shoebox, cuddle an air freshener for 70 years, and call it a life. <laughs> Harsh but true. We only take shape in relation to others. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, said my master, tossing eggshells and in nutshells into the distance. A sour excuse for a smile on her face. Mm, All these Bible verses getting taken out of context. <laughs> What's wrong? Something up with Sachi? Well, she's probably helping every single person that she meets on the street. Hmm. By limiting the shipments to stores, the manufacturers, uh, they manufacture artificial shortages, creating the impression of overwhelming consumer demand. The limited availability builds hype, turning the product into a genuine hit. A classic pattern. That is exactly what happens whenever a new game console comes out. Looking at you, PS5. And Switch. It better not be like melon ice cream. That's not that good. Black Sesame Super Swirl. That doesn't sound like an appealing ice cream flavor. Never heard of it. <gasps> That's one of those Ben and Jerry's flavors you stay away from. Way I see it, there are two varieties of food in the world. The type that's necessary for survival and the type that isn't. I mean, that is one way to look at it. I'm just saying, fulfilling the basic nutritional requirements comes first. If the meal happens to taste decent, so much the better. But that's a secondary concern. Well, I mean, I guess that's practical. How is Michiru sick? She's invincible. No, we were talking about crappy Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavors. We're always told that unique individuals are valued by society for their outside-the-box thinking or whatever. Fact is, though, if you're too different from the rest of the pack, you're just going to get shunned and pushed outside the loop. Sad, but true. Perhaps Michiru mistook that polite fiction for the way the world really works and concluded that it would be wise to become as unique as humanly possible. If so, the girl's a sad byproduct of the mealy-mouthed times in which we live. You're a victim too, in a way. Hang in there, kid. I'd say Michiru is one of the least weird people here. 
Michiru bought all of it from every store. That's why nobody can find it. <laughs> Hold on there, Michiru. Aren't you going to finish that sentence? You've got a pretty nice what? Stamp collection? Staff infection? Staff infection collection? <laughs> nice recovery. Oh, was that it? Your hairstyle. Hmm, it's exactly the same as always. ちょっとちょっと、ユージってば分かってないわね。女の子が自分からそういうことを言い出すってことは少し髪を変えたってことじゃない。うーん。そうね。That is the exact same sprite. いや、髪の毛は一切変えてないです。じゃあ、なんでヘアスタイルの話したのよ。変わってないのに。but people don't talk about it as much as she wants them to. Fishing for compliments, not giving you them. I'm going to bet that Sachi does that for you. Don't be greedy. Hmm, understood. I will now compliment you. In the process of maturation from infancy, human beings gain the motor skills necessary to make use of muscles previously beyond their control. That newfound ability to freely run around is so enjoyable that many toddlers can't sit still. The majority of children go through a phase of hyperactivity and fidgety impatience as they revel in the control of their bodies. The next step in the process of maturation involves developing the ability to restrain the impulse for restless movement, self-control in other words. Accordingly, the fact that you can still sit still long enough to have your hair tied up is proof that you aren't a child. You're a big girl now. Awesome job, I'm very proud of you. How condescending. <laughs> a hint! That was one of the most sarcastic things I've ever heard! I just heard Baka. Haven't you given up trying to understand by now? She's got a hilarious singing voice. Just when we've rid ourselves of the noisy blonde, someone singing like a drunken sailor arrives in her stead. If anyone's looking for an actress to play a siren whose voice drives men to dash their ships against the rocks out of sheer irritation, I think we found a very suitable candidate. Wow, rude! Oh, yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Fucking obscene voice is my favorite. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I want to hear that again. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> if I stay here, I'm going to get caught up in something troublesome. This calls for subtle but immediate evasive action. I begin to quietly inch backward to get on the lobby floor. Uh, I've, I've got to see a, <laughs> I got to see a man, see a man about a whale. Uh, bah! No matter how subtle one's movements may be, the intent to escape is truly difficult to hide. I'm proficient at camouflage, concealment, and deception, but clearly, stealth under zero cover conditions is a different be beast entirely. I'll have to make this a subject for future study. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Yuji has to go shopping for cookie cutters. I have to go help my dad uh, butter toast. <laughs> Seriously, Makina? I am not lying. Hmm. 
なに落ち込まなくても。Hmm. Was it really that important to request? I'm with Amine on this one. You're going a little overboard with the melodrama. What's this about zebras? <laughs> I am very happy today. Allow me to don my gay apparel. La 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 la. Uh, I think you may have come to regret making that offer. What's this about zebras? I need to know. Alright, whatever you say. <laughs> I see that. You're talking about singing. <laughs> I've been working as a sailor. Five to twenty years a whaler. I was just singing about my nautical life. As you do. Of course. Machina I think Machina was raised by TV, everybody. Well, that explains the bizarre pastry themed song you were working on earlier. <laughs> the best word I know is F U N. F U N spells fun. Out of the five girls, who do you think would have the best singing voice? I feel like it would honestly be Yumiko, but she would never sing in public. Your voice is so whiny it hurts. What's this prize you're so desperate to get your hands on? A postcard with the word WINNER stamped on the back? What? The crap? <laughs> how many... How would they count how many zebras you a year is worth? Like, oh, in one year, a uh, one year is worth about five zebras. Like, I am 90% sure she heard the prize wrong. <laughs> Makina's always wanted a horse, but her parents never let her get one. Now she can get a striped horse. <laughs> Gotta win those zebras, everybody. I'm assuming it's pretty hard to raise a zebra in a normal household, so that prize seems really unnatural for a contest advertised to the general public. In the first place, what does a year's worth mean? How many animals? <laughs> All of the lions are roaring, so it's like, man, I can't wait to that year's supply of zebras. We get, we'll dine like canes. So it's a one year's worth of zebras in the all-you-can-eat sense? Huh. I'm not sure how many lions would have seen that program, though. And do you really think they can handle submitting their applications online? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Amine, I'm getting the feeling that Makina may have misheard somewhat. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we need to call Arthur. He wrote an amazing song for the Crunch Cereal Contest. He can do it again. Iceland, the Aurora Mihodai, Kabushki Gaisha, Nice Flight Tourist, Yo 
りシマウマ1年分をプレゼントしますと言っていたのよさ Hmm, not gonna listen up. I don't think they actually said one year's worth of zebras at the end there. Maybe something like an Aurora viewing air trip to Iceland instead? Just guessing. <laughs> oh my gosh! There goes Makina's pony! <laughs> Makina! I'm, how many screws do you have loose in your brain? I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> Almost literally. I'm pretty sure at least one person in this is a robot. <laughs> Correct! Well then, the prize has shifted from zebras to auroras. Still interested in making a song for the contest? <laughs> We still gotta make a kick butt song. Let's stretch our musical prowess. Hey, Michiru. No, we're not! Unless you're a zebra. Michiru, how would you like to earn a year's worth of zebras? Whoosh. Okay, so about the psalm. Sorry, but more than a sundere, you're coming off as a blivering idiot with a pathological inability to make up her mind. Can't you be a little more subtle about this? Wow. No, abandon the Sundere. They are not a good archetype. Amine's eyes flash as she watches Michiru babble on. Even before she speaks, I can tell that she's decided to offer the perplexed girl forth as a sacrificial lamb. Ah, uh, yeah! I bet you that Michiru is the kind of girl who thinks she's really good at singing, but probably isn't. <laughs> yeah, music audition! <laughs> do not do that. Boom. <laughs> yeah, Michiru. I'm sure you'll be great. <laughs> Aurora the Explorer, yeah. <laughs> Imagine how confused Michiru is, is right now. It's okay, Michiru. I don't know what she's saying either. It couldn't be more obvious. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Biggest plot twist. She was an Aurora. I'll be going now, if you don't mind. 
I want to hear her sing. Just listening to this conversation is giving me a serious headache. But if you insist, I guess I'll endure it for a little longer. Oh no. <laughs> Blow us away with your marvelous voice, Michiru. Stop talking yourself up and sing already! Jeez! Just shut up and sing. Can't do it without the formalities, however utterly pointless they may be. You better not just cop us out at the end. I better hear her sing. No, you get applause after the song is over if you did good. <laughs> that is not what a clap sounds like. Just sing from the heart! <laughs> She's gonna be singing about desserts. Michiru, do you really understand? When she says sweetness, it's because the song is for a past. の心は前歯。放課後あなたを待ってる大河の裏。好き、キス、やだやだ、もんちゅう。憧れちゃうのよ。南風。からの日が近風。最終的に。Honestly, that wasn't bad. The fact that she came up with that on the spot, that was actually pretty good. Nice job, Michu. Like, genuinely nice job. You did way better than I could. Michu, my friend. My apologies. It seems our explanation was insufficient. Uh, we needed you to come up with an advertising jingle for a pastry manufacturer called Bombore. Eh? You see, the company's trying to find a song for their next commercial with an Aurora Viewing Tour as the grand prize. Makina's hoping to win the contest. That was the whole point of this entire exercise. She still did good! <laughs> when Makina asked you for lyrics expressive of sweetness, she wanted you to describe the flavor of a manju bun, not come up with saturine pseudo-poetry. Hers was better. Accordingly, the original song you just offered us was an utter waste of effort. Wow! Stop being so rude! She actually did a good job. You have covered yourself in disgrace, and the world would be a happier place if none of this had ever happened. My condolences. Just, can we boot these two out of the game? Make Michiru a new main character. The, the only reason she did that was so it would rhyme, and it actually worked fairly well. And if you tell someone to make a song that exudes sweetness, most people would write a sweet song, not write a song about pastries. Yeah, this is on us. We didn't explain it to her at all. <laughs> oh yeah, step aside, bleeps. I'm gonna sing instead. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Do it. Yeah, I don't mind. Here goes. Ahem. <laughs> What's with this 8-bit song? There's lots of Manju out there, but ours are made with care. So if you really want the best, you'll want to put us to the test. Here and there might be pretty fair, but just put them to the test and ours will prove the best. Bombore brand Manju! They're the best. Something along those lines. <laughs> no, I'm glad I got to hear your singing voice, Michiru. It was actually pretty good. Pop music in general tends to be pretty formulaic, and advertising jingles in particular usually have fairly simple, catchy patterns. I just combined a few of those. Yes, true. Basically, all pop music sounds the same, which is one of the reasons I don't like it. No, that was on us, not her. Wow! <laughs> Michiru is gonna go off to her room, break into her stash of black poppy seed ice cream, and just sit on her bed eating it with a ladle and crying, I bet. Which is very sad. Well, that was a feign. That's not what she's really upset about. I think our good-natured ribbing may have angered her somewhat. You call that good-natured? Um, yeah! <laughs> I think it's more accurate to say we gave her the opportunity to disgrace herself. The most serious damage to her ego was entirely self-inflicted. No, it wasn't. For a person with a standard capacity for embarrassment, that level of humiliation might have inspired a suicide attempt on the spot. Wow! Thank goodness she's too stupid to know much in the way of shame. Th yeah, these characters are not likable. Can we hear Sachi scene as well? No, you apologize. There is no middleman in the way of apologies. Uh. You liar! Ice cream melts! She ran away, plain and simple. You know what? I don't quite understand the situation either. Sachi's naturally confused, so I provide a brief summary of the circumstances. After a moment of silent contemplation, Sachi seems to have reached a conclusion. だとしたら、天音さんにも謝っていただいた方がいいかもしれません。もちろん、買い物に行っていた私にも責任はあります。おそらく7割弱は私の責任です。Um、Sachi, this was 0% your fault. So you are correct. Hmm? I'm not surprised to hear you say that, but I have to disagree. 8割強ですか? No, your responsibility is pretty close to 0. I think we should probably have Amane own up to this one. Um, no, Yuji, this is on you and Makina right now. So where did Amine even go? I genuinely don't remember where Amine went. I see. In that case, shall we drag Amine alone and make it a group apology? Sachi, you have literally nothing to do. This is ridiculous. Yuji and Makina need to apologize. That's it. 
こんなことに軽い気持ちでやんなきゃよかったでは床に顔つけ額が擦り切れるほどのいわゆるこすり土下座の準備をしてくださいわお<笑>、wow! いわゆる土下座するまでの本気の謝罪しなくちゃいけないのもちろんです万が一みちる様が許してくれなければ私も<笑> no, Saji, what the heck? This is not that kind of game. Well, actually, it might be. きっと土下座しなくても許してくれるし、許してくれなくても腹は切らなくていいと思うけど、っていうか、切っちゃダメでしょ、腹は。These people are deranged! そうでしょうか。日本人の責任の取り方として、一番有効なのは腹を切ることだと。Well, we don't, we don't have that in America. それがダメなら、どこを切れば責任が取れるでしょうかどこも切らなくてもいいと思うけどわかりましたあまねさんがそこまでおっしゃるのであれば切るのはやめます<笑>その代わり粉砕させサチ I'm really worried about you ちゃんと謝るからそういうこと言わないのみちるみちる早く開けてそうしないと取り返しのつかないからジーズみちる様出てきていただけませんねもう許してはくれないですが冗談ですが粉砕とは粉のように砕くと書くのをご存知ですかミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミジルーミまだ返事聞いてないでしょねえ、みちる、ちゃんと謝れば許してくれるわよね。そうでしょそうだって言って。I have a feeling something's gonna get very, very dark in the next, in the main part of the game. After this intro. ゆ許すはも、もちろん決まってるじゃない。はあ、よかった。謝ったって。絶対に許してあげないんだからね。<笑>ミチュー、my friend, I really think you should drop the Sundari Act for the time being. な、何を言ってるのよ。これはキャラなんかじゃないわよ。絶対に許してなんてあげないから。それで、何を許す。She's already forgotten. まさかミチル様がこんなに怒っていらっしゃるとは。これはもう。And this is how Sachi ended up murdering everybody to atone for her non existent sin. No, Sachi, this is completely unacceptable. <laughs> you know an apology is good if it turns into a fret. <laughs> Do not cut yourself, Sachi. Okay, to make a long story short, Makana asked Domine to sane, but she pushed the job onto you, ultimately resulting in your furrow humiliation. Sachi is planning to atone for this misdeed by pulverizing her fingers. <laughs> That's because there's something wrong with Sachi, I think. Well, pretty much nothing. マキちゃんに頼まれたからという私の事情でご迷惑をおかけいたしましたその責任を取って指をすべての指をいやいやいやいやそういうことじゃないからそういうことじゃないのに責任を取ろうとしてしまって申し訳ございませんかくなる上はこの小峰さち腹を No! Just... Okay, this is getting ridiculous Jeez. Okay, 
許していただけるのでしょうか。一番恐怖ですよ。本当だから、嘘じゃないから。だから。Hey, Michiru, what happened to your Sundere pride? This is very forced. Okay, I don't think it counts if you just drop your real thoughts into the stock phrases. <laughs> yeah, I think Michiru is one of the no most normal characters in this. Honestly, Amine is kind of as well. I don't like her, but I think she's actually fully functioning. Ice cream chan is the best. <laughs> Sachi, Sachi, I think we need to have a very long talk. Hmm. Seems it's completely melted in the heat. Nothing but ice cream soup at this point, I imagine. Just put it in the freezer. It won't be as good, but it's still fine. Please remove all knives or cutlery from Sachi's vicinity. Sachi's return to tranquility seems to have been short lived, as she's currently exhibiting a pronounced nystagmus. In less technical terms, her eyes are spinning around like those of a cartoon animal that just took an anvil to the head. Sachi, don't break down now. A careless mistake of this sort must be a truly bitter pill to swallow, considering Sachi's obsessive devotion to her duties. Her evident dismay is almost disturbing to watch. No one seems to know what to say. Oddly enough, the first of us to speak is Michiru. And stranger still, she does so in a bright, cheerful voice that cuts decisively for this awkward atmosphere. Michiru is lying here. Literally, I think Michiru is just here to kind of keep the peace. Forcefully seizing the liquid ice cream from the dubious Sachi, Michiru pulls the lid off of the carton with a smile. The contents slosh thickly against the sides of the container. Thanks to the ominous color of the black sesame, it resembles nothing so much as a deep, dark swamp. Or maybe she genuinely is just kind of weird. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. She's doing this to keep the peace. What a champ. So it would seem, her face may be a stained of disturbing shade of grey, but just look at that smile. Oh. <laughs> Brain freeze, Sachi. How slick. No, Sachi, just knock it off. This is not appropriate behavior.
バカねそれは安心して私が個人的に買ったのが部屋の冷蔵庫にあるからそれをあまねにあげるわちゃんと冷えてるから You keep ice cream in your fridge? I think she's straining the suspension of disbelief on that one. But as a kind and thoughtful man, I'd actively decide to keep that opinion to myself. Man, she's the real hero of this of this VN. Amine walks off with Sachi in tow. Michiru watches them until they're out of sight, gingerly rubbing her belly with both hands. For Sundara, you're remarkably considerate at times. Ugh. I see. All right then, if you say so. Like what? I know what you did. I'm not gonna call you out on it though. Yes, you don't really need to tell me. On a completely unrelated subject, take a few of these. It's Sarian, herbal remedy, does wonders for indigestion. <laughs> Quit yapping and swallow a few. It'll help a bit. You feel terrible, don't you? What? Spit it out. At? I see. It seems I'm still somewhat lacking in consideration toward women. The bitter scent of uncoated Saragon pills tickles my nose as I turn away from the Sundari woman's room. It might be a simple misunderstanding on my part, but I'm beginning to think that she may have a surprisingly thoughtful side. Yeah, this is like the second time she saved her butts. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to end the stream there. I'm going to end it a little bit early today. That was an interesting episode. Again, I I feel like the more I play this, the more I like Michiru, and Sachi's kind of unstable right now, I'm beginning to realize. I wonder how that'll play out. Well, maybe we'll figure that out next time. But we still didn't get to go to the beach! <laughs> I asked in this t <laughs> my Twitch uh, stream was called, Are We Going to the Beach? The answer was no. Maybe we'll go next time. We made plans to go to the beach last stream, and then there's, there's just like, oh, well, I forgot all about that. I hope that actually does eventually happen, and it wasn't just a one-off thing. But, oh well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.